All right, we're going to go through some of the words here on sort 50 for words their way, syllables and affixes, and this is covering, um, for the first time, suffixes. Before we were doing uh, prefixes, now we're working on suffixes of Y-L-Y and I-L-Y. And we don't have too many words in this sort we need to define. Most of them you should know, but let's start by defining what is a suffix, because these are all of all of these words have suffixes. So a suffix is a part added to the end of a word. So before we did prefixes, which was the beginning of the word, a suffix is a part added to the end of a word. So for example, if you have the word quietly, li or ly is your suffix. And do you remember what we call this part? The quiet part would be called either the base word or the root word. So the main word is quiet, and li is the suffix. Now you've got three categories this week, and I do want to teach you a little bit about these categories um, to make sure you understand them. All of the words in the Y category are going to be adjectives, and all of the words in the LY or ILY category are going to be adverbs. So it's important we understand um, the difference between these words. What's the ad, what is an adjective? What is an adverb? So let's quickly talk about that. So most of you know a simple definition of an adjective, which is a describing word. But it's important to know that adjectives describe nouns. And all of your words here that are adjectives are describing the weather. Sunny, rainy, snowy, etc. These are all words describing the weather. They're all adjectives. Now, the definition of an adverb is a little bit bigger, but I'm going to make it simple just for this week, and we can look more into it later. But an adverb is a word that describes a verb. So they're describing words too, but they describe verbs, or it could also describe another adjective or an adverb, but we're just going to focus on this, especially because all of these words this week do exactly this. Let's see what we mean here. All right, so here are three very simple sentences. I'm going to underline the verb in each one. She runs quickly. Your verb is runs. They sing happily. Sing is your verb. He snores noisily. The adverbs here all describe the verbs. And you can tell what adverbs, not all adverbs, but many, many adverbs end in L-Y. Quickly describes how she runs. Happily describes how they sing. Noisily describes how how he snores. So these adverbs are describing the verbs here and you can see how that works and let's just make one quick note about the spelling pattern here if the base word ends with the y and you're making an adverb you take off the y and change it to an i so lazy becomes lazily easy becomes easily that's where you're getting the i l y pattern when the base word has a Y at the end. All right, so that's your grammar lesson. Let's just get into the meanings of only four words this week that you might not know. Okay. And we will just define the base word. So the word is dimly, but the base word is dim. And dim means a little dark or hard to see. The base word of breezy is breeze, and breeze is gentle wind. So breezy means there's gentle wind. And finally, we're going to define misty and foggy as, very simply, when the clouds reach the ground. But I also want you to know, there is a difference. Fog is actually thicker than mist. So if you look at these two photos, 
You might call this one up here mist. It's not too thick. And down here, when it's very thick, it is fog. So they're both very similar, but there is a little difference between those two words. And that is about it for this week. Um, I will put some links to other videos here if you're studying uh, words their way. But that is all for this week. Thank you. Bye.